Okay, so it is Sunday the 17th of March, but you will not see this for some time and I can't tell you when that will be. Um, me and Roy are currently on the M6. We're on our way to Carnforth, um, Carnforth, if you're from Lancashire like me, or if you're in Cumbria, Carnforth, um, to look at... We're going to Clitheroe. I'm going to Carnforth. Who's at Carnforth? Going to clear the room. Who's it? Rickabies. Oh yeah, that's why Rickabies is at Carnforth. We're going to clear the road. Same thing. Same direction, in it. To look at a herd of Jez Hay cows. Now these Jez Hay cows are um, robot trained already. They are on the same robots. We have the model earlier A4s, as Rose just said, and it would be such a fit, it is untrue. We would literally be able to pick up their computer, leave the collars on the cows so we didn't have to, you know, do all that and just bring it to our house. And they'll hold them until we need them, which is just crazy. I, it, it couldn't have been any more perfect. Everything about them is right. They are such good cows. They are former gold cup winners if you're in dairy that's a thing isn't it they're all genomically tested everything about them is spot on like really spot on um the guy is really into his animals but for us it's absolutely brilliant so we're on the m6 going slow obviously not because there's a police car there we always go at such a sensible speed Oh, it's not a police car. <laughs> it's a traffic officer. So even um, logistically, I'm trying to I'm trying to prop you somewhere, but it's actually not working for me. To be honest, you've fallen on the floor six times. I just got sick of holding my phone there. So even logistically, this works better than holding my phone. <laughs> So even logistically, it worked a lot better. Um, the cows we were looking at that were sold from under us, uh, they were in Surrey, which is obviously a long, 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 long way away. Uh, these are down the road. The guy who we um, use for all our like cattle haulage and we take the lambs to collection centre that they run, um, they'd literally, they could be on the way to Bamber Bridge and do it as a backload. Like that's how easy it is. Everything just makes more sense. It is, turn that off so I don't get in trouble. I'm sure I remember there being a massive plane. Thank you. Outside here. It used to just like sit there. Where is it? Can anyone enlighten me as to where the plane's gone? I thought I might go and try and stroke it. They've moved it. That is really rubbish. <gasps> there it is. Oh, can we go and see it? Will it let us in? Oh, 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 there's two. That's a new one. Do, you mean, do they do like tours? Why well, you said they're just models? I bet they're not. I bet they're real. They looked real. I'm being attacked by cows. It's great. <laughs> Ladies, I love you. Follow me. <laughs> Hello, pretty. Me. Hello ladies. I'm just being attacked, but I am totally fine with it. Totally fine with it. Exactly, it's consistency right down the And then you've got no variation. Can you just, you know, break into BAE, uh, BAE, BAE? 
or is it a bit of a closed down kind of thing? Because I, I, I just, I just have me underneath that. God, look how big they are. Well, he says they're not real, but he's lying to me. I think they're really real. Like, what else are you gonna do with a jet that you don't use anymore other than pack it up for people to look at? It's typical, we're at Tickle Trout at Preston and this is my grandma's junction. My grandma's at our house with my mum and dad's today. So we've come here and she's gone there. So we're actually, we've just been talking about the climate and the weather and how much better it's gonna be to bring cows out of Lancashire with a similar environment as in them bringing them from down south where everything's hot and you know they'll even be on the same diet as what they would be here because we're grass growing country like down south they're eating all sorts of bloody what is it lucerne and maize and, and all that kind of thing whereas up here we grow grass and so does this guy here he grows grass so it, they're going to be on a similar diet and it just means it isn't a shock for the cow so we won't be getting a shock in any of the production so they shouldn't be dropping too much in milk because the diet won't be changing so flashback to you don't need to see inside those dirty cupboards um flashback to today and it is actually today i'm making this and posted it straight to you we bought the cows we bought the cows um we bought uh in the first place originally we wanted 90 cows we thought that was probably our budget for what we could buy 90 cows and then it stretched to 100 cows and then it stretched to 120 cows and then we bought 130 animals okay because that was what he had and it made sense to buy them all from one place opposed to buying them from separate areas um and mixing different animals from different farms together security like like you know disease wise it just made sense um and then he rang again yesterday and said that he'd been through all these animals and he did, weeded out everything that was rubbish and he couldn't get any lower than 139. So he'd do his um, 139, which was absolutely amazing. So there are 139 jerseys arriving tomorrow on three loads, two arriving at 10 in the morning and they're going to run down the lane and into that big shed. They're going to go crazy. There's loads of people coming to help. Um, Jack is going to drone it for me. You might have seen Jack on Tom Pem's channel. Um, and at the track to run as well. It was also on my video at the track to run. Um, absolute whiz with the drone. So he's going to come and he's going to drone the cows coming down the lane for me because I will be busy and that's a moment that I do want for me personally. That's what I want. I want them from above running down the lane. That's what I can just envisage happening and that's what I want videoing. Um, and I know no one else would be able to do it better than him. So he's going to come and help. Um, Tom, who we bought the farm off, Tom's coming back to help, which is just mind-blowing. Absolutely so fitting, it is untrue, because he is the reason that we are getting Jersey cows, personally. Him and Sheila, they are the reason we are getting Jersey cows. And all those years ago, I'll put these on the screen now because I've saved them specially for this video, um, I used to lean over his fence and when we had some fields next door and Roy would be spraying weeds or spraying muck or whatever, and I would be busy standing all over the fences and stroking the jersey cows and these are you can see a couple of the pictures i took uh back in the day like 2014 going back way back when um absolutely literally one of the reasons um apart from the economics of it making sense to us it was a personal thing we liked them and we had the dream that we wanted to do it. So that's why we've done it. And yeah, I, I feel a little embarrassed sometimes when people are like, oh, why have you gone for Jersey Cows? Because we like them. We fell in love with them stroking over a fence. Um, apart from that, why have we gone for Jersey Cows? So we've gone for Jersey Cows. There's a higher milk price because it's a niche product. It's a lot different. The milk, we're not just selling it on quantity. We're selling it on quality, which makes a big difference. We're selling to a family dairy. We'll be selling our milk to Graham's Dairies. Um, they are up in Stirling. And we will be sharing a tanker with a farm just down the road from us. So it makes the carbon footprint of that tanker a lot better for the company um, that is sending the, do you know what I mean? It just works. Everything about it just works. It's absolutely brilliant. So we will be the furthest south that Graham's Dairies uh, come to pick up Jersey milk. 
farm wise we are in a ring fence the farm is smack bang in the middle of the fields and we can get out every which way obviously when we've not done silly things like build a shed and make a big mountain and um, we can get out any which way to the field so it is perfect for a grazing platform for cows so that came in really handy that was one of the reasons that we wanted to be here in the first place because it just made sense in that way anyway flashback to today's video right now the second um starting from this morning what went on today and what we've been up to but yeah jersey cows they arrive tomorrow overly excited a little bit too overexcited that i've gone the other way to be perfectly honest um i just know there's a lot to do before <laughs> before they come the robots are working everything's in place um graham's actually in the shed now putting the feed rails up that was what we were short of uh, I've done uh, last minute sealing and things like that. The four farmers have been with the feed. You'll see that in the video. And yeah, we are literally um, terrifyingly ready to go, go, go. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm saying this. We are getting cows tomorrow. Oh, that's freaky. That really glows in the dark, doesn't it? Like, that Collinson thing is literally like a bloody beacon. All I want is a sports mixture. <gasps> oh, he knows the way to my heart. This is crazy. Come with me, pyjama clad with snacks, into the shed to turn the lights off. Oh, we have a, a security light. What does that mean? She's bright. Is that how much is in it? 15. What did that just say? I need to download the app. Does anyone know how? <laughs> I think... I think they're on because they're on. I don't think the lights will go off. I think it's so the cow... They'll be on a timer, will they not? Do you know what? I'm not going to meddle. I'm just going to leave them. It's not the end of the world, is it? It's crazy. This is crazy. It's all happening. <laughs> Look at the size of this. It's to go on the end of, you know, the little pipe on the, what's it called? A sluice pipe. A slurry pipe. That's it. Um, so if we ever get clogged up with shaving disorder or whatever, we can blow it out, basically. Or well, we can empty it, can't we? From there as well which is really handy so we don't just keep taking the manholes up. That is a sizable, you said that's small. Said it's a small one, yeah. That's not small. This is Dougie. Hello there, you all right? This is Dougie and he's been an absolute star doing all manner of pumpishness and... Pumpishness and And he also, oh, he also, he makes lagoons. <laughs> he does lagoons, pluggy lagoons. <laughs> he does really good lagoons. They're big and they're lined and they're lovely. So if anyone needs any lagoons, go to Dougie. <laughs> anyone who said I wasn't useful? You have no idea of my capabilities. Look at me pipe holding. Yeah, it's running. Yeah. Yeah, it's off. Look at me. I'm like, I'm so useful. Oh my God. Dougie has um, a motocross track. If any of you know him. Or if you're in the area. If you indeed like motocross, check it out. I personally don't like motocross. I think I'd fall off. I don't think I'd be very balanced. I'm not like on a push bike. I can't imagine putting a motor on it. So I've got Carl Wilson's dad wants to come and spray some fields off. Um, but my sheep are in there. And um, so I need to make this secure around this shed here. Um, yeah. But I'm going to codge it. I'm going to codge it to the max. I'm more than going to codge it. I'm literally going for the most temporary measure you have ever seen because I am reaching out in desperation. Um, literally, all it needs to do is just hold the sheep back for a few days kind of thing and make sure that they don't get out of this humongous gap in front of me, which is obviously we've taken all of the fences down around the shed. We needed to, to be able to get access to it. And then we have been concentrating so much on the shed. Um, basically forgot we had fields. 
time has to run away and I need to block that gap up. Well, I don't... Yeah, I, I just don't know what to do is. I hope it's going to be soft enough. I gave it in, I gave in. <gasps> I've even got some fencing, handy. Handy for the cause, handy. Right, let's go move these sheep. At least I know I can keep them out, which is just what I wanted. Maybe can't keep them out the shed, but nah. Right, I need a hammer and some stair pulls. Or should I go and move the sheep first? I don't know what I'm doing. Don't Momentous occasion. That's my arm, that. Look, I have arms. That there, that's my coat. Can you believe it? So, you know, I was codging this morning and I was like dead embarrassed about my codge of stuff. There's codging and then there's codging. That's a codged handrail. To me, that looks like a joiner's done it. No, like, that's just bodged up. Right? That's bodged up, apparently. I have got a lot of learning to do on the codging front because, like, my effort was not very good compared to this. This is just to stop people falling down the stairs. What are you doing? He's having his dinner. Oh, you've got one with it. Oh, look at that. Is that because you buy that many tools? Yeah. You know, the other day, when we had a Jenkins wagon come round the corner, at least this time we've got the right wagon. So this is going through the Keenan. Swallows have just come back. They've just come back now. It's just flown in that window there. <laughs> Summer's coming. Mm. Mm. First time I've seen him. First time I've seen him. Right. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. And I do, I say this, and I don't say it with any ease. I appreciate each and every single one of you for watching. I really do. It means the world that people are even interested in what we're doing down the lane. It's crazy. So look out for tomorrow's video when the cows arrive and we start milking. Sorry, love you long time. See you next time.